What's up, everyone? Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Drop us a like and smash that subscribe button. And are you ready for JLA Year One, Number Three? And it seems like the freshly minted JLA has a new visitor. And can you guess who this visitor may or may not be? Yeah, yeah. I really like this series. It drops a lot of little Easter eggs. But right now, uh, previously they had dealt with some aliens and uh, the government had taken them away. And now they're dissecting them, trying to learn their secrets and also trying to genetically alter uh, human beings in order to have superpowers. And these supers would be controlled by the government since they don't fully trust the JLA but they've been experimenting and as you can tell they haven't made too much progress besides blowing aliens up and having guts spread all over the place but they're not done yet they have a backup plan they will find a way but in the meantime you know it's a typical day bank robbers robbing this doing that and uh, these guys are after technology right now instead of gold or cord technology. It's the Blue Beetle's place, actually. Future Blue Beetle. And uh, of course, Flash, Green Lantern, and Black Canary show up. And of course, these guys let loose on them. Black Canary is about to scream, but Flash moved around the way as uh, Green Lantern kind of just dropped the, the hammer on them, man. And they are squished, ready to be taken away. And then they are arrested as the press come. And the press have kind of made Green Lantern the unofficial spokesman since he's a kind of a big blowhard he likes to talk and uh, he likes to handle the ladies you know what I mean so uh, he's been kind of doing all the interviews and uh, this is making some of the other members of the JLA a little just a little pissed off you know you know because he's a uh, hogging all the light but after all he is a Green Lantern but anyways they meet their benefactor Ted Kord aka the Blue Beetle for he's not the Blue Beetle yet but soon he will be and uh, he's decided to take up the fight for him to sponsor them. Matter of fact, he has a security system built and ready for them. Ted is a wonderful inventor. He has a lot of different devices. And of course, this one's yellow. And Green Lantern's ring at this time has a very big problem with yellow. So the Flash, to cover that up, just gets some paint, you know, and just goes over it really quick. And they take, they take off with it. And now... This is Aquaman and a man named Simon. They're uh, having a discussion about Aquaman, you know, his problems with the surface world, little things like that. And they end up running to uh, this kid. And this kid actually is named Snapper Car. Yes, the Snapper Car. Uh, if you guys don't know who he is, look him up. But it's an interesting little Easter egg. And of course, the Justice League are starting to have pins. They're starting to make their table they're starting to get their base together and they're also starting to get a feel for each other and they're actually developing a trust for each other but everything has its little difficulties as Aquaman's finding a hard time adjusting like he just broke that light bulb there because he doesn't know his own strength on the surface world he's basically just a fish out of water and they're trying he's trying to find his place here as Green Lantern of course is hitting on Black Canary and this is where that trust I was telling you about comes from they start revealing their origins to each other and you know Hal Jordan's basic origin he got the ring from uh, Avon Sewer you know Black Canary of course is a legacy her mother was a member of the original JLS and this is where Green Lantern says that he had a crush on her he always liked blondes and that's a sore spot for her because she's not really blonde of course John Jones and Flash are kind of having a moment here and Snapper is kind of comparing computers to books but Flash can read super fast, so they're having a little contest here, and we can look up what faster. And of course, Flash being the Flash wins. And this is where Flash explains his origin. Lightning bolt, chemicals hitting him. Aquaman explains his. You know, there's really not much to explain. His father was human. You know, his mother was Atlantean. Of course, John Jones, the last survivor of Mars. Really kind of sad origins, but it makes Aquaman and the Martian Manhunter bond a little bit. Black Canary is having a little conversation with Flash, and uh, Green Lantern shows up, and Black Canary is just absolutely pissed at Green Lantern because of uh, the whole blonde thing, which is just a little weird, you know, but what can you say? And this is interesting, Flash and Green Lantern have a talk, and they have this moment where they say they might die, and Green Lantern tells them, nope, we're both going to live to ripe old ages. 
funny how things work out sometimes. But anyways, of course Aquaman and the Martian, they're having a little conversation about fitting in on this planet. Black Canary sitting in the room, stewing, pissed off, puts on the wig, decides to go back out there. Having a moment with John, Aquaman, like I said, Aquaman's getting really annoyed being here, you know, like he's really finding a hard time like adjusting here. But the JLA table set up and I love how the flash just puts everyone's names or logos on the seats and then there's a Superman one. And this is where Flash kind of reveals that he wants Superman to join. And this is their first like conversation on membership. And of course they're all debating and then suddenly the man of steel is sitting in that chair. And the JLA just freak. How did he get there? Well, he's Superman, of course. <laughs> and a, Superman's face begins to change. It molds. And poof, it turns into the Martian. And then he sits there again and he turns himself into an Elmer Fudd-like character. And uh, this is where the Martian kind of tells everyone that he has shape-shifting ability too. To his cabaret of powers. And this just makes Aquaman crack up. Like, this is the first time Aquaman's had a good laugh. And they're kind of mocking Aquaman, kind of comparing him to the members of the JSA, which one he would be. And they're just kind of having a good laugh, getting to know each other. But Aquaman is kind of mad, you know, because they were joking with him earlier about a light bulb branch. And uh, he finally figured it out, and he got real upset about that. Because, you know, it humans have been making fun of him since he's been up here but they, they kind of straighten it out you know these little fights happen with teams so it's just good to get it out of the way and start building that trust that every team needs so this was a good first meeting for them this was the first get like first good getting to know you and the JLA is off as the Martian takes off disappearing into one of his forms probably a cop to wander the night and what will happen the next time we'll find out won't we and i'll catch you on the flip side